everybody. Day two of the cruise. Sea day. Are you close enough? Hi, everybody. How are we doing this morning? <laughs> so, uh, had my first coffee of the morning. Matt and I got together and had some coffee while Rachel was doing her spa thing. Um, and now I have my second coffee here. Now I'm just chilling in the hammock, as you can see. I have a whole new appreciation for this hammock. I did not fully realize the first time, but you can like fully recline in this thing. It is amazing. And it's incredibly comfortable. And I totally get why Erica loves it so much. <laughs> By the way, we were in the Discord, we were chatting in our, uh, our work Discord, talking about the crew and whatnot. And Erica's husband, nicest guy in the world, bought Erica a hammock because he knew how much she loved it. So big ups to you, Rigo. You're the man. So the plan for today is uh, full time. First and foremost, full time. Soaking up some sun. Um, there's actually, I'll flip the camera around here in a minute. Uh, we can see Cuba. We are driving, driving, shipping, floating by Cuba right now. So that's kind of cool. We can see Cuba. I can see Cuba from my room. One thing I did want to mention, once we got on the ship, more dining reservations opened up. So one that was really hard to get uh, is Gun Bay, which is the Korean barbecue place. But I was able to get it for Thursday night. So I'm actually going to Gun Bay on Thursday night. All my dining reservations are very late, which I'm not that upset about. I'm a night person anyway, so. Um, but once you get on, on board, you can book and I've, I've even changed some to a little bit earlier, so that's definitely something you want to keep in mind. If you don't get the dining reservations you want beforehand, you might be able to get them once you're actually on the ship. Uh, the seas are a little bit rough today. I mean, not bad, but like you can feel the the boat rocking a little bit. You couldn't you couldn't really feel that at all yesterday. So, but it's still it's a nice day. Partly cloudy, sunny, perfect. So we just had lunch. Uh, I had Takansu ramen. What did you have? I had a pastrami sandwich. And I had the pork tacos. Were they good? I was super good. Yeah, mine was really good too. And now we're getting ice. We just got ice cream. Oh, mine is starting to melt. <laughs> I got uh, key lime and strawberry milkshake. What did you guys get? Uh, butterscotch. I just got the strawberry. Good? Very good. Oh, yeah. Awesome. All right, well, good afternoon. Just spent um, a, a while, probably like an hour, maybe two, just walking around the ship, getting video of everything I wanted to get video of. And then met up with Matt and Rachel. Well, before that, I had a peanut butter, not peanut butter, Nutella and banana to toast. Not like sandwiches, like an open food sandwich. Delicious. Met up with Matt and Rachel, and Rachel went to go do some work, and Matt and I played chess. They have like, you know, a giant, Yes, on one of the decks. And uh, I don't want to brag, but I did win. It was a very close game. It was a lot of fun. It was very close. We were, it was back and forth. It, we were, I was just saying, it's more fun to play chess someone with who's like on your level, you know? So you're not just blowing them out or they're not blowing you out. We were just standing there in the hot sun. And it was so windy this morning. And then this afternoon, when we were like actually hanging out on deck and wanted, to, <laughs> wanted a little bit of a breeze, it was just stagnant and hot. Definitely gonna have a good tan. Maybe a little red. Tonight we're planning on going to the Misbehave show. Miss Behave show. It, it's a game show and they were like, just listen, it's gonna be a lot of fun, it's gonna be crazy. We all three got signed up to do that, so we're gonna do that. The Misbehave show is in the Red Room, which is actually a place I haven't been yet. I didn't even go in today to film so I could like experience it for the first time actually during the show, so. That'll be fun. Really looking forward to it. It's been a good day. Good day at sea. Virgin is very cool. Very cool. Very modern. And if, if you want something a little bit different, this is definitely a good way to go. Especially being adults only. Everything is geared towards adults. Not that, you know, 
Having kids can be a lot of fun, but it's nice to have uh, an adult weekend away or an adult week away or an adult two weeks away. <laughs> All right, season. So we just got out of the show, misbehaved show. It was a lot of fun. It was it was crazy. The um, I think Matt said it best. He was like, uh, "It's the first time I've really felt like it's an adult only show, an adult only cruise." It was definitely an adult only show. So it was it was a lot of fun. Highly recommended. I had dinner at Razzle Dazzle. It was, it's very good, very, very good. I had uh, some mushroom tartare that was, it was very, very mushroomy. So if you like mushrooms, you're gonna love the mushroom tartare. I love mushrooms, so I loved it. And it just made, the whole time I was eating it, I kept thinking of my mom, because I know she would have loved it. My mom loves mushrooms, so she would have loved the mushroom tartare. Very, very good. And then I had, uh, it was like a butter chicken curry that was, oh, it was phenomenal. It's funny because like, I don't like ginger or coconut, but I love curry. That doesn't make any sense. It's like the, the sum of the parts is way better than the parts. Oops, wait a minute. The whole thing is better than the sum of the parts. That's what it's something like that. Whatever that phrase is, the butter chicken was phenomenal. It was very good. And it came with naan bread that was like, I feel like naan bread is usually like very dry, but this was just like perfectly moist and moist. Sorry if you hate that word. But it, it went, it complemented the curry so well that it was chicken curry with rice. Oh, so very good. But guys, let me tell you, I think the best thing I've had so far on this ship was the bacon. There's a side of bacon you can get and it's got the seasoning on it that is like sweet and spicy. Hands down the best thing I've had on this ship so far. So good. And then I finished off with two desserts actually. I had a blueberry green tea pie okay i think it was pie green tea it, anyways it was really good and then the so the razzle dazzle they're like their big thing is milk and cookies and it the milk and cookies were pretty meh like the cookies felt like they felt like they just came out of a generic grocery store brand cookie and they were pretty dry and like they weren't like i couldn't even tell you what kind of flavors they were they were very unique you know and i'm like you know, if you just did like a really good chocolate chip cookie, that would have been better. I don't know, the cookies were not very good. The milk was good. It was like a sweet buttermilk or something. So the milk was good, but cookies were a bit lacking. Matt and Rachel ate there yesterday and they said the same thing about the cookies and milk, so. I forgot to mention, we did we did quiz a quiz thing. It was Risky Quizness, it was like trivia. It was called Risky Quizness. It was a lot of fun. It was, it was teams, but like me and, just me and Matt went and we just met up with some random people. They were just putting teams together. We met up, they were really fun. Really nice group of people. Uh, we didn't do so great, but it was still a lot of fun. <laughs> tomorrow is our first day in a port. So we are going to Roatan tomorrow. We get in at like noon and then I think we leave around nine or 10. Um, we don't have any like sh shore excursions. They call them shore things on Virgin, Virgin. Um, so we don't have any shore things booked, so we're just gonna go check out the port probably and see where the day takes us. Uh, we've got um, like brain teasers thing booked in the morning. Um, so we're gonna do that, we're gonna get some coffee. I think Rachel's got like a meditation thing she's gonna do and then see where the day goes from there. All right, I think that's all I've got for today. I hope y'all have an excellent night and I'll see you tomorrow.
Good morning, friends. Just had breakfast for the first time, really. Because I didn't, I don't know why, I just, I really didn't have breakfast yesterday for some odd reason. Had coffee, lots of coffee yesterday, but I actually tried today. I had the, so they have just like coffee stands, and I didn't, I, I didn't have any coffee yesterday either. I had like, I paid for coffee. It was like, the free coffee is really good too. I don't know. Day one, I guess I was just like, still getting adjusted to everything. Day two, killing it. Killing it food-wise already. Had like a, um, like a, a full breakfast, basically. It's like eggs and sausage and tomatoes. And then uh, split a banana Nutella with Matt. <laughs> he had pancakes and uh, a bagel. In a few minutes here, we're getting ready to go to a morning mind bender thing. It's like morning puzzles and games and stuff so by the time we're done with that it'll be about time to get ready to get, uh, get in port so day three here we go Landed, docked, just docked in Rotan, Honduras. <laughs> uh, and here we are. Uh, we, we decided we're just we're gonna hop off, check out the port area. Um, like I said, we didn't book any shore excursions or anything, so take a look around, see what we see. More sun every day. I did not put on sunscreen today, and I probably should have. Definitely getting a little red forehead and a little red nose, like Rudolph. Anyways, uh, so we're at Rotan today. Uh, we just kind of got off and just walked around a little bit. The beach was very nice. We took a, it's like a like a ski lift <laughs> over to the beach, which you totally didn't need to. Like I'm pretty sure it actually took longer on the uh, on this on the lift. Than it would have been just walking but it was cool got a cool view of it and like it really wasn't that far it was like maybe the length of a football field but it was it was, it was a good time it was fun um got a good view of like the ship from from the lift so then we just kind of walked back uh we'll walk through some of the shops a little bit then we just came back to the ship we all had a little work to do so we did that and then we played mousetrap they have a bunch of board games here, so we played Mousetrap. <laughs> we had so much fun. That was an absolute blast. For like such a silly little game. An old game too. It was so much fun. They went off to dinner. I've got dinner here in a little while. Actually we're gonna I'm gonna have between our dinners we've got another game of trivia we're gonna go to. Uh, it's different than the one we did yesterday. It's uh, like salty trivia, I think it's called. So we do trivia and then I'll have my dinner. Yeah, that'll be that for today. Good evening. Um, kind of a, a chill evening. We um, we went to trivia, and it was just kind of a, a more classic, a more traditional, like pub trivia. And uh, we did terrible. <laughs> we didn't come last. I'll tell you that much. And I killed it in the last round. But but yeah, not great. But it was still a lot of fun. And uh, actually, two of the people that we were in the trivia with last night, we met up with them, 
they were we we showed up early because we're like because we knew how it was yesterday and we showed up like right before and it was packed so we made sure sure to get there plenty early and they also showed up plenty early so there were two people last night that we that were on our trivia team that we made friends with and uh we they were on our team again tonight so that was nice playing again with them they're very nice people and then i had dinner tonight i went to extra virgin which is the Italian restaurant. Started off with like an artichoke heart, like a fried artichoke heart. It was really good. And then they had a like a, a cheese and meat board. It had some like, I don't even know what it is. I'll, I'll, I'll find the menu because the menus are on their website. I'll pull up the menu and I'll find out exactly what it was. But it had like these walnuts and just like nuts and Man, it was so good. It was part of the cheese board. So if you come, you got to get the cheese board. And you got to th eat the thing with the walnuts. Phenomenal. And then it had like other like meats and cheeses that were all very good. And of course, bread. Italian bread is so good. And olive oil. And like, I think it was like a balsamic vinegar or something in it. That was like in. It like was separated, but it was like in the, the olive oil. For my main course, I had a uh, pork cheek. That was pretty good. Not my favorite thing I've had here, but it was pretty good. The gnocchi, gnocchi, I don't, I don't know if I'm saying that right, was was not a huge fan. Um, it was very truffly, and I do not like truffle, so keep that in mind. If you like truffle you, and gnocchi, you would probably like the gnocchi here, um, but I, that, was, that was not my favorite. And then they had like a gelato, so I had some gelato. They had a cart that like they brought around and they made the gelato right there for you with like toppings and it, it had had espresso and I, I didn't get the espresso because it was too late and I'm like I can't have any caffeine or else I won't sleep whipped cream that was I mean that was great it was there was ice cream so like I mean come on it was very good I did want to mention the service at extra at extra virgin was definitely the best I've had so far yet and it's funny because Matt and Rachel said the same thing like the way most of these restaurants seem to work is that like they all work together, which is nice, but like at the same time, uh, like I'll have servers come up to me, like different servers and ask the same question multiple times. And it's like, almost, it seems like the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing sometimes, you know what I mean? Um, but this time I just had one server, super nice guy. He was very, very good at his job and he made the experience he was super fantastic. His name is Laszlo. Laszlo was great. That's pretty much it. I stopped by. I left some stuff with Rachel and uh, Matt, so I stopped by their room real quick to grab it. Man, I cannot. I've like I've been trying like before I started recording this. I kept trying to get the lighting right, and it still looks terrible. So I'm sorry about the quality, the video quality, but there it is. All right, tomorrow we go to Costa Maya. I think we're we get there early because today we got there kind of late. We left kind of late. Today we tomorrow today. We got there early, we left kind of, what am I What am I saying? What are words? What is time? Today, we got there kind of late, we left kind of late. Tomorrow, we get there kind of early, we leave kind of early. And tomorrow night is the Scarlet Night. So that's like a big ship-wide party. I don't know exactly what it's gonna be, but uh, they have like a couple different shows that are all about the, the legend of the Scarlet Night, so excited to see what that's all about and then everybody's supposed to wear red and i bought an outfit can you believe that little old frugal jason bought a whole outfit for this thing so i mean i just didn't have a whole lot of red stuff so i was like i gotta get some red stuff and you'll see i'll show you what i what i bought because i look good have a good night guys and i will see you tomorrow